Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of the LG Electronics Mobile Communications Company, Dr. Jong Suk Park. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this momentous event. I say momentous because it is time to announce the most exciting and the most ambitious phone in the smartphone history. The smartphone era really became a force back in 2007. Now, 60 years later, the innovation that consumers expected has come and gone. And we are left with only the technology. We so much focus on the technology, again has appeared between what consumers want and what companies create. But this is not how we want innovation to be defined. Technology without empathy can no longer be considered innovation. Innovation, for the sake of innovation, is old school. In a way, you could say that consumers, by that I mean all humans, are imperfect creatures. But at the same time, nothing is as perfect as a human being. So we do our very best to understand the needs of consumers and spend countless hours trying to understand from them. Human behaviors and habits are the manual for product development. By better understanding a product from a consumer's point of view, we are armed with the ability to enrich their lives. In this regard, LG believes today's innovation must resonate with consumers. Our newest smartphone makes an effort to understand, learn, and better reflect human behavior. Today, we hope to bring this to life. I have waited for this moment for a very long time. So now, let's meet LG's new flagship smartphone, LG G2.
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the LG G2. This is the result of thousands of hours of research and development with you in mind. There is so much I want to show you about the new LG G2, but let me show you the best parts of the device. The most innovative aspect of LG G2 is its design. With the real key being the feature everyone has been talking about since the news first became public. It is certainly different. However, the sole purpose of this design shift was not just to be different. The idea was born from one of the key findings learned from our human research. Think about it. Where is your index finger when you are talking on your phone like this? Exactly right on the back of your device. Relocating the power button and the volume keys to the back is not just a physical change. It also changes the way we interact with the phone. Simply, everything is more convenient. This is what we learn from you. And when we move the buttons, we saw another benefit. The screen, nothing on the sides to break the beautiful line. Just see for yourself. You will never be able to go back to your old phone. And this is not all we learn from you. We learn that a phone with a 5.2 inch display is the largest that an average person could grip comfortably with one hand. We also learned that the most frequently used features in the smartphone are the basic ones which are easy to use and add convenience to our daily lives. You will see what else we learn from you very soon. The LG G2 that you will meet in a little while will be available via key carriers around the world, including the four major carriers in the U.S. The phone that was created with you in mind a phone inspired by you, understand you, and respect your every needs. LG G2 is now all yours. Thank you very much, and please enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the person I will introduce is here today to celebrate this exciting launch of LG G2. Please welcome LG's longtime partner, President and CEO of Qualcomm, Mr. Steve Mollenkopf, with a big hand. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Well done. Well done. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Park. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I am honored to be here at the LG G2 Global Launch Event as a partner of LG Electronics. It is especially meaningful for Qualcomm, as well as LG, as the G2 will be the world's first worldwide launching smartphone that incorporates the Snapdragon 800 processor. The relationship between LG and Qualcomm dates back to 20 years ago, and we have been continuing our strategic and solid collaboration since then. Our relationship had one very clear objective, 
deliver unparalleled experience to our smartphone users. To achieve that objective, we researched both consumer and the mobile use behavior. We listened to you, we learned from you, and reflected your insight in our new product. LG G2, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processors, is the outcome of the two companies' tireless efforts. Today, half of the total U.S. population uses smartphones. People spend more time on their smartphone than ever before and are doing a lot of different things at once. Web browsing, email, mobile games, texting, videos, and social networking. With all of these use cases, the processor inside the phone has become an increasingly important stat on the latest smartphone hardware specs. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor helps the LG G2 deliver outstanding user experiences. We showcased our flagship processor, the Snapdragon 800, earlier this year, and it's blown away the competition. The new Snapdragon 800 delivers blazing fast speed with a quad-core processor delivering speeds up to 2.3 gigahertz per core. We implemented technologies to help extend the battery life substantially with asynchronous architecture for dynamic power sensing and control. Additionally, as the 4G LTE generation is rapidly approaching, the new processor features 4G LTE Advanced with carrier aggregation to maximize radio frequency bandwidth. Through our research, we learn from consumers that today's smartphone users need and want more than just super performance. So along with the superior performance, we work to optimize the very latest mobile experience to meet their needs by enhancing breakthrough multimedia features with rich graphic qualities. Also, Snapdragon 800 supports GPS and GLONASS navigation satellites, which means that the location services are quicker and more accurate. However, we know that a processor can't stand alone, and like the processor, the smartphone cannot be outstanding without a great chipset. Therefore, two global companies, LG and Qualcomm, collaborated for a long time to make the best processor and device that are perfectly matched for each other. LG G2 is the outcome of the two companies' unceasing efforts. In addition to the processor, many aspects of the new device, such as the design and user experience, illustrate how LG G2 learned from you. More stories are waiting for you here, so stay tuned for the next speaker. LG and Qualcomm have been working successfully since the beginning of our partnership. Just like you, I'm looking forward to the future that Qualcomm and LG will build together with the G2. Thank you all.
now the reason we're all here today, the official unveiling of the highly anticipated LG G2, here to introduce the only smartphone that's built to learn from you and to give you an overview of its many unique features is James Fischler, Senior Vice President of Marketing for LG Electronics USA. Good morning, and thank you for joining us here today. My job today is to convince you that the LG G2 is the most exciting smartphone on the planet. And that means I have a very easy job. Simply put, the G2 makes it all possible. Whether, whatever you want to do on a smartphone, whether it's taking pictures, staying connected at work, listening to music, organizing your life, or keeping in touch with friends and family, or even my personal favorite, if it stays in this room, watching 12 hours of the Hoff on Baywatch. There are many things that make the G2 great, but today I'm going to stick with the top five breakthroughs. It's the design, display, camera, sound, and user experience. So let's dig in. Design. Smartphones have come a long way since they were first introduced. They've gotten more powerful and bigger. However, in most cases, users' hands haven't grown that much. Do you know what these numbers represent behind me? 2.4 inches was the width of the smartphone when it was first introduced. Six years later, smartphones have gotten bigger in size and manufacturers have begun making premium smartphones at 2.7 inches. And if size alone isn't causing people to drop their phones, then maybe it's the buttons. Most smartphones have buttons on the sides and on the top. And you're supposed to push them with the very same fingers that you're using to hold on to the phone in the first place. For too long, we've been blaming our fingers for smartphone drops that are simply not their fault. We figured there had to be a better way. LG observed thousands of users, and it turns out that most people naturally hold the phone this way, because it's the most comfortable, most stable way to hold the smartphone. So we decided, if your finger is so eager to hang out on the back of the phone, then let's give it something to do while it's there. So we listened, and we learned from you. As you heard Dr. J.S. Park say, we put the power and the volume buttons right on the back of the G2. It sounds so simple, and it's a big design enhancement, and it's the first of our five breakthroughs that we're going to talk through. Now, I'm sure at least some of you have figured out that by putting the button on the back, it presents a challenge. The battery. If you have something going on on the back of the phone, you're going to either need to increase the size of the chassis or reduce the size of the battery. And I don't know about you, but I certainly don't want that thicker bulk. And we know consumers don't want to reduce the operating time by making the battery smaller. So LG's engineers beat the battery challenge with a design that qualifies as a breakthrough in its own right. The solution involved increasing the battery's density and incorporating a step design to reduce dead space. The result is a battery that provides more, that's right, actually more usage time and still allows us to use the rear key. So what does this rear key give, uh, give us besides a more comfortable and more stable grip? Well, for one thing, the rear key means you can find the volume control without looking at the phone. And this works whether you're right-handed or left-handed. The rear key is right where your index finger goes. Just like knocking on the door of a friend's house, G2 wakes up with a couple of taps of your hand. Knock it again, and it turns off. The volume control also doubles as a means to launch G2's quick memo function and camera. So now, taking a selfie on the center stage in Lincoln Center got a whole lot easier. And no need to worry about smudges on the camera lens, 
because we used an anti-fingerprint sapphire crystal lens that is three times stronger than tempered glass. With all the important controls now living on the back of the phone, the front and the sides of the G2 are buttonless zones that are free for the display. Said another way, the rear key is the only, let me say that again, the rear key is the only physical button on this device. The G2 is sleek and stylish. Its look is one of a kind. The rear key makes the G2 more comfortable, functional, convenient, and beautiful. It's a great idea, and really, it's your idea. We learned it from you. So, 2.7 inches. We know from looking at how people use their smartphones that it's the width of the phones most people are carrying. So if 2.7 inches is the most common width, what is the largest possible screen you could get on a phone? I guess, theoretically, it could be as big as a football field. But that's not very portable. The G2's display screen is 5.2 inches, and those two-tenths of an inch are a big deal. And here's why. Smartphones have to serve two masters, our eyes and our hands. We've learned from you that if your eyes were calling the shots, they'd make a display that's as big as possible. But your hand also wants what we were just talking about, comfort. Size versus comfort. This is what smartphone makers have always been up against. And then there's another wrinkle in the assignment. In the last few years, while phones were getting bigger, another change was taking place. People started using their phones longer. And the longer you look at a screen, the more eye fatigue you may experience. And in essence, the screen seems smaller. So again, we listened and we learned from you. We studied the way people use their phones and realized that we had to get a, as much display out of our phones as possible, while still keeping the phone comfortable in your hand. We found the answer in an LG innovation called dual routing. Now, we're going to get a little technical, so get ready to start typing. On the display, the touch sensors cross like tiles, and once a person touches the, the display, the touch sensors send a signal through the connector to the chipset, and that fires up the application that the user just activated. The touch sensor on existing products only allows for a single connector, and this requires a thicker bezel around the phone. We gave the G2 a touch sensor that uses two connectors. That's right, more is better in this case, and this allows for a significant reduction in the size of the bezel. We've put that extra space to productive use. The result is a G2 with a width of 2.7 inches, a brilliant 5.2 inch display, and an ultra thin bezel at one tenth of an inch. It's all screen. The answer to your next question is yes. That two tenths of an inch makes an important difference. And you'll have a chance to see that for yourself in our experience zone after the presentation. And now I'm going to continue bragging about the display, because there is more. The display of the full HD HD G2 also uses graphic RAM. And that is another first of its kind. It allows us to reduce the, the display's energy by up to 26% on a still frame and increase usage time by about 10%. And I can hear what you're thinking. None of this matters at all if the picture isn't very good. Well, here's the thing. When most people look to purchase a smartphone, they judge according to PPI, or pixels per inch. But the number that they really should be looking at is subpixels. And as you can see here, both are full HD displays but the difference is huge, and the picture looks fantastic. So the first of our breakthroughs was an intuitive design, and that lets your hands and fingers do what they really want to do. And the second is G2's 5.2-inch Full HD IPS display, and that provides an amazing picture without sacrificing anything in the comfort department. 
So, let's switch gears to capturing images. Let's imagine that you're riding in a car and you're looking at the window. Actually, let me clarify. Imagine you're riding in a car as a passenger and you're looking out the window. The car is moving down the road, swaying and bumping all over. But what we're looking at with our eyes, they don't move like that. Our eyes stay focused because they're constantly making micro adjustments and they help keep the image clear. The G2's camera does that as well. The G2's optical image stabilizer, or OIS for short, allows the camera to take crystal clear images even in a moving car. Now, there are other smartphones out there with OIS technology, but until now, OIS has mostly been available on 4 megapixel or 8 megapixel smartphone cameras. The G2 makes OIS technology available for the first time on a 13 megapixel smartphone camera without any boxy bumps or unsightly lens housings, and it will help maintain its slim, sleek design. Now, not only can you take clear, non-blurry pictures from a moving car, but you can take crisp, perfectly lit pictures at night. The problem with capturing quality images in low light is that you need a longer exposure time. But for every millisecond that the shutter is open, your hand can shake. And if your hand shakes, what happens? You blur the image. Better than me talking about the G2's camera, you need to try it out for yourself. So be sure to take it for a test drive in the demonstration area after the presentation. In the meantime, Amy from our demonstration zone is here to tell you a little more about the G2's amazing camera. Thanks, James. Good morning, everybody. My name is Amy, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the G2 camera. It's a 13 megapixel camera with a breakthrough OIS technology. So what I want to show you today is the LG G2 with some of our competitor phones so you can see how they compare. Now we have the G2 here with OIS technology and our competitors that don't have OIS technology. So you'll notice on the G2, when I turn the machine on that will vibrate the devices, you'll be able to see even when we zoom in up to four times on all three of the displays, the image on the G2 is very sharp and it's still very smooth and you're able to take fantastic pictures with the G2 because of the OIS technology. So I'd like you to just take a moment after the presentation, stop by and put our camera to the test yourself. Thanks everybody. Wow, look at how good that picture looked on the G2. Thank you, Amy, we'll see you in a little bit. So, breakthrough number three. The G2 is the only smartphone with a 13 megapixel camera without the extra bulk to have an OIS function truly inspired by the operation of the human eye. So you might be thinking, is it time to responsibly recycle your old digital camera? That's for you to decide, but I do know that for me, when I'm on vacation next week, the G2 will be the only device I take with me to take pictures. So let's talk about sound. What you see here behind me is a graph of the best frequency band of an original sound. The blue line represents a frequency at 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz sound. This is the range we normally hear on a CD. Many of us are under the impression that CD sound is perfect. But as you can see here, and more importantly, as you can hear, there's a lot missing from it. Humans can hear a lot more than CDs deliver. The red line is the graphic representation of sound recorded in a professional studio at 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. If you could listen to this perfect recording under ideal conditions, you'd hear not only the music, but also the musician breathing, the sound of the fingers touching the piano keys, and the piano's stops and actions. Everything. Today, we carry a lot more than music on our phones. Entertainment of all kinds has migrated to the phone. And that means not just music, but game audio, movie soundtracks, and more are living on our smartphones. And as people are starting to get more visual entertainment out of their phones, we've learned from you that they're starting to demand more from their audio as well. 
Some smartphone manufacturers have tried to embed the Hi-Fi technology into the smartphone. Unfortunately, it's no simple task. At LG, with our innovative audio technology, we were able to rise to the challenge. The G2 produces sound quality at 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, the same standard used in professional recording studios. It's a huge leap forward for smartphone audio. It's our fourth breakthrough. Doesn't that sound amazing? There are actually a few preloaded ringtones on the G2 from this very choir. Nothing sounds more pure than their voices, and no smartphone delivers the same quality of sound as the G2. So, we've talked about breakthroughs in design, display, camera, and sound. All of these breakthrough features and dozens of others included in the G2 contribute to our fifth breakthrough, the outstanding user experience that you will get every time you turn on the G2. I've read research that states by using a conventional smartphone, you can save 88 minutes a day. That's about 22 days a year or the equivalent of a three-week vacation. And from what you've heard here today, the G2 is anything but conventional. So let's take a look at how the G2 can save you even more time and how we learned it from you. Wow, the G2 really does make it all possible. So how do you answer your phone? You grab it, maybe look to see who's calling, tap or swipe to receive the call, and then you place the phone next to your ear. But how did you answer your phone back in the old days, when it had a cord? You simply picked it up and put it to your ear. You can still go through all those steps if you want, but with a new feature from LG called Answer Me, you no longer have to. Answer Me was born from the simpler way of doing things. As soon as you pick up a ringing G2, the phone senses it, turns down the ringtone, and connects the call. No more pushing a button or swiping to get a call. And guess what else? For all you New Yorkers during the winter, when you're wearing gloves, there's no need to take them off to answer the phone. Or what about when you're holding a hot cup of coffee? You can answer your phone without spilling it. As reporters and storytellers, you know that you can tell a lot about people by watching them. 
As an example, if you see someone plugging a headset into a phone, you can make a pretty confident assumption that they're not about to take a picture. Rather, they're more likely going to listen to music, watch a video, or maybe even play a game. Plugging a headset into the G2 launches plug and pop. This new feature automatically makes it easier to find and use the apps and functions that people are most likely to have in mind when they're ready to use a headset. That's really what learning from you is all about. Now, let's say I get a text from a friend that wants to do something this weekend. Normally, I'd have to go through a dance that sounds something like this. I'd look at a text message, close the window, bring out the schedule, go to the relevant date, set the time to the meeting time, write the appointment, stop at the line for writing down the location. Oh yeah, what, uh, what time was that? Oh yeah, 11 a.m. I'd have to go back to the text message, confirm the location, go to the schedule and finish something. Oh, you know what? I don't want to go through all that. And the G2 agrees with you. The G2's text link feature eliminates those steps and makes text information management a breeze. Okay, so let's try it this way. I get a text message from my buddy Jack. Oh, it looks like he wants to do something this weekend. The G2 is so intuitive, it'll automatically launch the calendar or maps function depending on my needs. See? Easy, simple, and elegant. A lot of what the G2 does is solve problems that you may not even know you have. Sometimes a smartphone can be a fun toy or even an instructional learning tool for kids. Now, raise your hand if you've ever handed your kid your phone. I know I have. Did you hear about the father last month who gave his toddler his phone and she ordered a car on eBay? I don't want that to happen to me. And we have a solution for this. It's G2's guest mode. Or, in my house, we call it kid mode. It allows you to customize access to your phone. If I unlock the screen with my pattern, which is an L, it goes into my home screen. Now, if I swipe it again with a G, it'll go into guest mode. And I'm free to give my phone to my kid or whomever I wish. Once again, G2 comes to the rescue. Our fifth breakthrough, the savvy and convenient user experience. It gives you back time, and we all love that. And it was designed by learning from you. From the G2's first of its kind rear key design, it's phenomenal 5.2 full HD IPS display. It's 13 megapixel technology with OIS, and it's studio quality sound, and a user experience that even you and your kids will love together. The G2's five breakthroughs, it means one thing, that life's good for all people all around the world. And this isn't the end. It really is just the beginning. LG will continue learning from you. Because remember, with LG, it's all possible.